Hey guys, Nestler Magic here, and Wizards made the annual announcement where they show you something that you really want and then tell you that you can't buy it. It's not entirely true, there's always a secondary market, but I'm um, of course talking about the Christmas cards. So this year, for 2020, it is Top Deck the Halls. After last year's completely weak card, I'm glad they actually went back to something funny. So this one has a special red, like, uh, stamp where the date stamp would be for the uh, pre-release promos. And it says, Happy Holidays 2020. So these look pretty cool. I think I've only ever seen one in person. They're pretty rare. Some of these can be as high as I've seen, like, 50 to 100 plus for the oldest ones. And some of the more recent ones I've seen for, like, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. It's kind of hard to get a full price list these days. You got to, like, look them up one at a time. And, I mean, if you're interested, go do it. But uh, what they do is they send these to, I think, one per store for WPN locations. But I think you had to be, like, kind of big. I'm not sure, because now they got rid of levels, so now I have no idea. Um, they tend to send them out to, like, high-level judges and stuff. I mean, it's not like anybody ever got a full list of who they send them to, um, but people got a pretty, you know, good picture when everybody on Twitter goes, oh, look what I got sent. And you're like, oh, well, that's what he does. So I think they described it as, like, their friends and partners or something. I think a lot of uh, employees and contractors get this card, too. So, um, you know, some of them show up on the secondary market. Uh, a lot of the later ones, like, like the last couple of years, they've, at launch time, been under 20 so it's like well for under 20 bucks just sit on the dang card especially since it's like guaranteed to be worth more in 10 years just saying honestly it comes down to more availability than price which sounds like a silly statement to make because shouldn't the price just go up as the uh, demand goes up not really i mean if you suddenly put this at 50 bucks because you only have four left in stock at you know some tcg seller then you're going to continue to have four in stock because people just aren't willing to pay that much so it's not too hard to get your hands on one of these we'll see though maybe they trim the numbers way down maybe they had a production run issue with covid who knows uh so this one's pretty cool uh comes out for five it's in uh red white colors instead of red green which is odd and then uh decorated cards in your hand have miracle one snow mana so Miracle is, I just drew it off the top of my library, so I top-decked this, so thus top-decked the halls. Now you can uh, cast that spell for its Miracle cost, which is universally across the board now one snow mana. So you have to be playing with snow mana, which was from, like, what, Ice Age or whatever? But also, you know, I'm saying all this, it's a silver-bordered card, so it's not legal in any format. I should probably throw that out there. So decorated cards, uh, to qualify for this, are any cards that include premiums, promos, or cards with alternate frames or art. Now, I'm going to assume that if they printed the card once, then printed it again with different art, that's not technically alternate art. I think they mean, like, limited edition within the same set release, you know, alternate art. Uh, otherwise, by premium, they just mean foil. So this card would absolutely wreck in, like, a Snow Commander deck, but your playgroup would have to be okay with you playing it, you know, with it being silver-bordered. And get this, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control 12 or more decorated permanents, you win the game. That right there is going to disqualify this from any playgroup who has their head screwed on straight. Borderline free casting with alternate win cons? No, I don't think so. But it's an interesting, fun card. I mean, it's not like I can complain about it being, ooh, a game-ruining extra win con when it's not legal. What I don't get is that it, it, it's in a set called H20, so Holiday 20, and it's number 001 out of 001. Well, I guess you can't go back and uh, fix the old ones, but their new thing is to put all like related promos in a series. So, I mean, I would have at least started now, but I guess they would want consistency because then it would make the old ones look like they're not in this category. Now, the thing that makes these really hard to find, you basically got to look up on like uh, a wiki page what the full list of all of them is and then start looking them up one at a time. So I think the best one that I could remember is Thopter Pie Network. That one was pretty good. This one, I mean, I get the joke. It's kind of weak, but whatever. So if you want to check out the uh, full list, or heck, if you want me to do a full list covering all of them and the memes and the references and everything on them going back to, like, I don't know, 2006 or something I think they do, well, let me know down in the comments section below. Otherwise, here's a wonderful preview of a card that you probably can't get. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you guys next video.